Hello, I'm Tim Stone, the FAO for Water Wastewater here at Advantech. Thank you for attending this next edition of Digital Water, Water Wastewater Series Emerging Technology Update. You know, water always seeks the lowest level. Unfortunately, to effectively use and control water, it doesn't always go where you want it to. In the several parts of any water system, there is the need to move water, whether that is to uplift pump sanitary water system, or to move clean water into above ground water tanks, or even to evacuate storm water during flooding situations. The ability to move water on demand has become a necessity, but it is most important to know how, when, and where water is moving, and to know how much water is moving, to direct moving water to where it needs to be, and to make sure that the systems that are capable of moving water know exactly how to do that job. All of this seems a bit complicated, but with a little bit of planning and the latest technology, we can easily accomplish this. As we mentioned in the previous video, getting the data to the correct people on time and with discernment helps us meet our goal of a more intelligent system. So the question needs to be asked, what can digital water do for pumping and control? One of the newest approaches to apply is artificial intelligence to trend the data for predictive analysis. Areas like using prior past flow demand to predict near future demand and adjust systems accordingly. Using artificial intelligence to monitor pump trending based on the dynamics of things like current usage, bearing and harmonic vibration, pump motor temperature, and overall motor health. This allows us to do the maintenance at a predictive interval versus a preventative interval. The artificial intelligence can accurately predict based on the trending data when the maintenance really needs to be applied versus just a suggested interval. You know, using AI to make quick decisions on dynamically changing circumstances is something we can do too. Mitigating flooding and overwhelm sto storm sewage situations by turning on and off pumps opening and closing gates, and open, opening and closing water gate valves. Monitoring of flow of rates and determine things like leak detection or water tank turnover for EPA compliance. Pump field monitoring to keep up with demand during critical times, such as a fire emergency. All of these are things that artificial intelligence can do. Using some of the most advanced technologies like wireless temperature and vibration sensing. Connecting via purpose-built cellular data networks like FirstNet and Frontline. Or secure private networking such as LoRaWAN Outdoor. Coupling with artificial intelligence for things like predictive trending and estimation. Then using public cloud or private cloud to make the data available securely to the groups that require it. And managing based on advanced reporting. You know automation is the key, and designing a secure and robust fail-safe system is the answer. So as I've mentioned in the prior video, we'd like to speak with municipalities, small towns, large cities, and all towns in between. We'd like to speak with system integrators who have a focus on water and wastewater technologies to create those partnerships. We'd like to speak with specifying engineering firms for us to understand the specifics of requirements and discuss emerging technologies that bring exciting advancements. Below is the contact information for me and my team. Let us go to work for you. Once again, thank you for attending this session of the continuing series on digital water.